I'm here. Oh, he just oh he just teleported. He's still here for me. Yeah, he teleported. For me. How is he not dead? He's blown up a lot. There we go. I was starting to think he might All have right. infinite health. <laughs> Tell her you guys only have about 30 more minutes left here. What time is it? This is our last episode today, guys. It might be a slightly longer episode. Be the last one. There's, Dude, I'm oh, sick there's of two firebirds in the air. I'm gonna have to respawn again, so you might have to pull another field radio. Alright, I got you. Oh my god! Let's kill this stuff, and since this is our last episode, let's focus in on these main story missions. Unless we're close to a side quest. There's a tank here! <laughs> this is a ludicrous amount of stuff here, actually. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Hopefully the tank starts fighting one of the firebirds. This guy has no wheel. There was a link rolling around without a wheel. Without that little gyro ball. One of those pieces? Yeah. Oh. oh the little guy? Yeah, he's like rolling around. Yeah. There, there we go. One, two. Grab stuff from this dog, even though it's alive. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I really need a bigger mag for this LMG. Oh, he's glowing. This one's glowing. KVM 89, Tucker. If you see a bigger mag for that, that's what I need. Okay. All right. Who's glowing? The Firebird. His sides are glowing. He's really close. I got basically. How do you oh, know? Oh, oh. oh, the tank shooting yeah, at him. Yeah, you actually nailed him. How is he still up? <laughs> I don't know. He took basically a full max of the LMG. I use it on the down. What are you looking for again? KVM 89. My God, so much stuff has fallen off of it. This is one seriously there we go. phoenix. <laughs> got him. Let's make sure we loot him, because it seems like he should be special. Whoa. The hardest ones to kill always have the worst stuff. Yeah, that's true. Just like Pokemon Go. Okay, should we kill this tank, or should we just go? Uh, we should kill the tank. Alright. XP. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna clip that. That was nuts. What happened? Somehow, like, a giant flaming oil barrel came from the character. That was bad, Mile. He's the fuck Where are you going? going? I got a flare on his eyeball. Oh, that's why he turned around. Oh, his battery just exploded. I'm getting him right on the old booty. He's attacking him. Oh, fudge. No, 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 no. Don't you kill me. Don't you kill me. What's going on? You got me down to five health. There's actually a lot of dogs here. Goes the tank. There's a lot of dogs. It feels like these tanks always drop a skin. It's just nice. I Woo! Skin, that's weird. We 
gotta get rid of these dogs, then I'll mark the next where we're heading. I'm so confused. This is a shotgun silencer. Yeah, but it's probably not like the specific shotgun that beats that specific silencer. Pretty dumb. That's another thing for the sequel. It's simplify the attachment system. Don't make there less attachments. Just a shotgun attachment should be a shotgun attachment. Okay, uh, log, main mission, since we don't have very much time. Let's, let's do back on track. This is that 12 I G? Fuck. Okay, uh, I died, but I'm gonna go find us back on track, all right? I'll tell you where okay. to fast travel to. We have time for probably like two missions. It'd be cool if we could knock out the remaining vanilla missions, but I doubt we'll do it. It's not gonna be all of them anyway, it's just what we have on our log right now. There's more, there's more bots coming here. <laughs> they congregate in set locations. Oh, my door. oh shit. See, the life came back to Tucker. That's what it took. There just needed to be robots to kill. Tucker, fast travel to the IGA industrial facility. Uh, I'd call it the east, like direct east, slightly south. It's on a coast. Down. Down. You might see me now. Down and to the right. East is right. Fast travel not available. Oh, it's because you're in and combat. And it's because I'm in combat. I'm going to start. There right. we go. All right, sweet. The ticks blew up. All right, good. I'm starting to push to the mission now. Meow. Meow. Okay, bullet spread decreases recoil. I'm just going to keep pushing down the tree. I, I think we're getting near the end. The fact that the log doesn't even have that many main story missions right now. You don't have a 12G on you by chance? A what? A 12G? A 12G pump shotgun? Yeah. Uh, not on me, but probably on All right. Let's do this mission though first. I don't really know it. It's just that we don't have much time left. And I'd feel better about our day if we get some main story content done. Imagine this is the end. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Not even close. Wouldn't that be exciting? Be cool, but I don't believe it. No, it's not. We still have plenty left. Because we said we were going to do the side missions, too. The only thing we canceled was finding the collectibles. At one point, we were going to do all the collectibles. And, yeah, I don't know that I ever really had full faith that we were going to do that. But we did say we were going to try. And we tried for a couple months, then we gave up. And then we, when we realized that we had been... Pushing it off so long. <laughs> yeah, well, we needed recording sessions where what we would do is just clear a map out. And we did that with the archipelago region, the first area. And it was, one, it was tedious. Two, it was boring. And it's like, this is just better off camera. And if it's just better off camera, then it's not even worth doing. So, it's the right decision. There's plenty of content. We did say we would do some of the base building stuff, though. And so when Tucker's got school this week, I'm going to try... One last time to get command points. If I'm not able to get command points during the week, then we're not just going to get stuff either. Besides that. And then, what's now going on five, six years later? When did this game come out? I don't want to know. I don't want to know now either. It's not that the, this Let's Play thing. Is that we played it and then we like got sick of it because we've told you it was very bland, more bland than it even can be now. And then we came back like once. So really, it's not anything too crazy. But I know it's been somewhat significant because if I go to the achievements and stats, I've got three days on this game. This doesn't seem too nuts, but it's still 72 hours. Wow, they actually added a bunch of stats. I've killed 1,850 machines, 533 assists. That means you've killed more machines. Than you. How do you know? Because I'm number two. Here, I'll look at the stat again. You'll have to cover me while I do this. I'll bet you you've I'm killed coming. more. No, oh, Steven has. Steven has by a lot. Steven must have got into this game for a while. 3,000 robots. It's the second highest. 
You are. You have 1,870. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot, but damn, I didn't know that Steven got that into this game. He has a tendency to do that. Steven is actually a really good gamer. He's, he's a total completionist. Once he gets on a game, if he's into it, he will do everything there is to do in it. Do you think he's still into it? Still, not Gen Z, but he's probably into Diablo right now. I haven't seen him on. He drives trucks for a living. Diablo 4? Yeah. I actually have more gamer score than him now, which is weird, because usually he's ahead of me. Yeah, he's playing Diablo 4. And yeah, he's got almost all the achievements. See, once he gets into a game, he... What am I doing? Freaking, rec freaking recording and I'm... Gonna... Steven, if you're out there, I miss you, buddy. I'm giving you props. You're a good gamer. Big time. Dinner. Oh, good. Great job, Clay. Proud of you. Hey, whoa. That was a hell well. Ooh. See, just like little stuff like this, this would keep this game it. fresh. I'm stuck. I am Mrs. Stuck. I blame you. We're for pushing a small me around. group. We managed to escape Talk on. <laughs> God, here we are, dude. It's been eight <laughs> months and we're still doing this <laughs> shit. <laughs> Only Tucker is still pushing me around eight months later. <laughs> Run. along this road so let's just keep going so i thought we were doing vanilla missions and it turned out to be the dlc missions what did she even say i wasn't listening God, me either. i'm not interested in the story i'm trying to be but hey purple light uh, an intercepted police radio transmission indicates what we're doing though is i think it's not alone yeah we're doing not alone you see this purple light up here? Uh, I don't. Let me read this really quick so we're kind of on it. Then I'll see it. At last, you found proof that there are other survivors out there. We've known that for... Since you get on the island. So they need to retcon this. There's a convoy that was dispatched by the Swedish army in the direct aftermath of... Cat now they call it Cataclysm Day. In one of the trucks. A computer temp terminal connected to a radio picked up by a looping message of Anita Sorgen calling for survivors. She seems to be with a small group somewhere on... Himfall, a ski resort island located east of Ostevuk, and her group is trying to set up a makeshift boat passage to and from the island. All right. Oh, they're going to introduce boat stalker. Oh, yeah, I see the purple light. Purple light. That looks pretty sweet. Another thing this game does well. Lighting, lighting, sound design, map design, world design. All those people, 100%, you get a lot of credit. Like, sound and light design especially. You guys did a great job. Oh my god, it's just a spotlight. It still looks cool, though. Yeah. I wish it was, like, some sort of new bot, though. Well, it fell off. Oh, it was. It was a tick attached to the back of it. That's weird. Is there gonna actually be a boat over here? I don't know. I don't trust it. Something's gonna happen. Like, we gonna find the group hole dead. I'm sure the boat's gonna blow up. <laughs> Please tell me we're heading the right way. Okay, we are. Sweet. Don't forget to collect wood whenever you see it. We do end up doing the base building, and we're going to want all of it, so we don't have to go out and get it again. And of all of the zombie movies you've watched, Turok, which, which zombie movie would be the easiest to survive in? Like, which kind of zombies? Well, Night of the Living Dead, and that's just because the humans outnumber the dead in that movie. Because it's just starting. So if everybody would know what they know now, that's one of the things with Fear of the Walking Dead. Kind of neat with their whole prequel. Is in order to make it work, they had to make a world where no one's ever heard of zombies. If you, hear this, please answer. you know, in these days, of course, you got the whole zombie lore, so it wouldn't be like a big deal. But it makes sense then because George A. Romero invented zombies. So, like, nobody has no has had to deal with it. There's all these, like, moral questions, ethical questions. It's incredulous. Just like COVID. You know, it's all this like counter, there's information, counter information. People agree, people disagree. People are going to be willing to listen. Some people are going to, you know, reject it, resist it. 
chaos. It's not total chaos, but it means that with humans, you're never gonna have like we're not machines. Good to hear someone else's voice again, right? But yeah, if you knew everything you know now and you go into the Night of Living Dead world, you'd probably you could survive it. What's your opinion? Can you check before we you leave? Can you check your box to see if you have a pump? Oh yeah, sorry. Is this a safe house? Yeah. But by far the hardest would be Return of the Living Dead. Hey, you there? Did you? Not uh, like 28 days later. Or... 28 days later, all you have to do is outlast them because they starve to death. What happened there? Uh, Daisy. Pretty clear what happened. What Damn was he? That's what I meant. What was okay, these? Need to fix the boat it's yourself. just 28 days later, but there's zombies, and it just pisses me off. But they'd be tough because, you know, they run and they, like, scramble. I don't actually have a 12-gauge. I'm sorry. Oh, there's actually a boat. Wait, I don't have a 12-gauge. Sorry. Oh, truck, we can start the engine. Oh, sweet. Oh, what cheap excuse of Hold a on, boat is it. this? I don't want to miss this moment. You don't even drive a motor. You just take a winch and you pull it across. I've had to wait so long for this little moment. So we're not going to get to drive a boat? No. Oh, my day is in ruined and my disappointment is immeasurable. Look, all you have to do is start the winch. Oh, wait, can you to be They're finally trying to deal with, like, water. Oh, Tucker, we're actually heading to a whole new area. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, We thought we were getting deeper into the game, and now we're going to unlock a whole new island. What? They're not even going to let us over there? Wait, it's marked over there. We have to get over there somehow. Let's use the winding mechanism. Oh, yeah, here we oh. go. Uh, uh, I'm moving off the boat. Not on my game. I have not anymore. So they are trying to finally deal with like boat mechanics. And water. Like, oh, you can actually traverse the water now. Even though it's a boat, we have to use a winch. This seems like the most dangerous way to do this. It'd be safer just to ride the boat back and forth. Hey, I think there's somebody behind us. Yeah, there's a dog behind us, Turok. Popped good. Popped. Where do you even come from? He was just anyway, here. I doubt you'll even make it here. Here on the Himfjell, we're blessed with a very special toaster brand. Big toaster? Yes. Oh, I fell in the water. Oh, there's gonna be new robots. They're a hoot. You'll see. Oh, apocalypse class. <laughs> We've already been dealing with those. spotted by those dogs near the village. They can't be far, so watch out. They're even more dangerous than acid, so. on Estaton. <sighs> that sucks. I thought we were going to see something new. Wait, we're not going to get to see something new? Nope. Do you have a 12 gauge? No, Tucker, I said no. I said sorry, oh, no. I sucks. said it three times. Sorry. Sorry. Right. I wish I'd Sorry, no. If I find one, I'll definitely give it to you. There's still way to stuff for it. We'll find it. Okay, wow, there's a whole other island. I did not expect this. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Our Let's Play continues. <laughs> Damn. Thought we were getting close. This game has got a lot of content to it. Hey, to our left. What the you see the marker? Flying robot or? No, the arrow. Yeah. You see it? Yeah, that's where we're heading. Oh, this island's already been lit up. Saltham Church. Wow, the first Saltham Church has been desecrated. Dang, it's on fire for. It's been on fire for three weeks. <laughs> yeah, weeks. The slow, steady burn. Watch this still be a safe house. <laughs> nice and toasty. Well, the whole bell tower's caved in. That's not kind of cool, though. Yeah, it does. It's the same hey, as Oldham Church. They copy and paste a lot. But at least it's slightly different this time. This, at least this one's damaged. <laughs> yeah. All the other churches we see are, like, in mint condition. True. Oh. 
Okay. Kill the dogs. See Apocalypse class. Damn. And what's weird is Apocalypse classes are easier than the Phoenix classes. If they hit you though, they actually hit you pretty hard. Yeah, they hit really they're hard. Poison. They're easy as hell to kill. They have less armor than the Phoenix class, it seems like. Yeah, their weak spot is very visible, and when you hit it, it really hurts them. Alright, find Roland Big, in the cafe. green and glowy. Oh, sweet, they got like a statue out here. Looks like it's from Fable. It looks like they like copied and pasted an asset from Fable. <laughs> Whoa. Looks good. This is the so cafe. It's got the giant hands, the leather gloves. Well, there's a marker over here, and there's a marker back at the beginning of town. It says, find Roland in the cafe. Yeah. We're gonna find a Borderlands character, Turok. Yeah. Let's just become a mix mash of a lot of different games. Like, Phoenix, or uh, Marcus from Gears is in here, and then later we run into Master Chief. Oh. What? You I found Roland. Roland too? I can't believe they're all... Oh good, Look, it's the same thing see, playing out really again. Dude, he had 10 pins. Do, he was the we'll best you know penny evacuator yet. Fair, right? I thought he- I thought our record was like 15. And injured people here. Roland was looking for medication. Painkillers, disinfectant, band-aids, oh, he is a junkie. I somehow so turned that in, that D into an F. Roland. Was already <laughs> <laughs> no His accent's very special. <laughs> That's what qualifies as a large town on Himfjell. Himfjell. God. All right, I'm getting here, and then we're gonna call it because I'm gonna have to use the restroom. Before we go. So I'm pushing right to it, T. All right. You know, this is a new area. And it looks huge, but we're already gonna be halfway through the island. Once we're is this the Alpine DLC? I think so. Because I remember seeing like a big apartment complex full of snow. Can we t can we take this? Oh, look, they got physics. Push. Well, I've been well aware of the physics because I've been dealing with your physics this whole time. I just wish we could write it. Yeah. Because we got to run up this damn mountain. Some bit of uh, him feel life. Him it isn't uh, big, but they still have two. They did the boat, markets. but doing the ski lift Don't was too much. Why. Yeah. The Kunsum is locked. We already tried, so try the orca. Have fun. There was only an A there. How did it become an orc? I don't... I don't know. And I also don't know what a kootsum is or an orc. He's like, the kootsum's <laughs> locked. We already tried. Well, what the hell's a kootsum? Boobin <laughs> slobber. Is that like where you keep the soap? <laughs> a specific room just for holding soap. <laughs> they needed a, like, we must do the dishes. <laughs> we're to the soap room. We're gonna have to go to the Aka. Probably the armory. <laughs> we don't have soap. We'll use bullets. Alrighty. Kitchen gun. Yeah. Robots. He's just having a bad afternoon. He's taking a lot of shots to the belly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Kept running through him. Ooh, ooh. Good. Guys hit hard. Oh, these are Phoenix class. Oh, there's a side mission here. I probably need the armor piercing shots for these guys. Yeah, these guys are strong. Hey, I got a skill point. Let's go. Hey, there's one on me. Okay, I'm coming to you. Oh, you got him. Blast. Got him. You nailed him. You got ticks up the wazoo on you. Oh, eventually pop. Oh, that's confirmed that they just eventually die. Yeah, I think it's after like a couple minutes. See? Watch. <laughs> they, just, they just blow up after they... But they have to be ones that pop off from another bot, like a hunter or a harvester. Oh, they can't be. I think, I think tanks can do it, too. Not pop, just like deploy ticks. Yeah. At higher levels. It says there's a side mission in here. I just collected it. Oh, you did? He had like some papers on him. Oh, okay. It's probably like, I kept the key to the soap room under the dish tank. <laughs> oh. Protect the soap. <laughs> yes, an old god. <laughs> 
keep the soap safe. It's a safe. <laughs> Tis the key to our salvation. <laughs> We already tried the. We already tried to cast him. Locked. You have to go through the Asa. Good luck. We think it's like a, it's a room full of rocket launchers, freaking sponges and dishware. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a cool name. It's gotta be full of like some high tech military weaponry, right? Right. Turns out they just need a fresh set of dishes for dinner. <laughs> Get to that soap room. <laughs> Stop moving. Yeah, moving dogs. There's all like more and more dogs showing up. There's oh. a lot of them. Hey, Vanguard, let's go. Oh! You just went up a level from killing dogs. Challenge level. I had a level up from that last battle, and I got Vanguard. Oh, okay. What does Vanguard do? Uh, damage resistance. 25%. It's the specialization. Oh, good. It's in combat. I bet that's gonna help a lot, actually. Yeah. That's why I spec into it. So that way I don't just instantly die whenever I get put into combat. I feel like you went down the right trees, because we're at a point now where sniping's not even hardly worth it. It's better just to run in with the ARs and call it a day. ARs yeah. or SPs. Spray and pray. Mm-hmm. Really because if there's armor in the way, it usually stops the bullet from hurting them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and these these really big ones, just even with weak spots, you still have to sit there and shoot them for ten minutes afterwards. The firebird. These hills would be perfect for sliding. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Or skiing. There's just a lot more snowmobiles. Stuff they can do here that would make this better. Butter. But hey, it's a new map. Right Alright, bring some dishes to Anita's to group to gain their trust. There's so, a yeah. chronic shortage of dishware for dinner. Alright, i give it a try too. Oh, there you go. Medicine and soap. Look, it really was. It was just like... Awesome. Best fake soda. Soda's for dinner. That's medicine. They don't need water, they need pop. See, Benny? Always trust others until they prove you wrong. We're at Hotel Bureau Everyone Tunis. wore yellow jackets on this island. Try to lay low. But the one thing that keeps them united as a country oh, is they all have truck. Look, problems. he's just right here. <laughs> he was just looking right at us. He wasn't even doing anything. Yeah, that's what I was talking oh. about earlier. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> I wasn't panicking, you were panicking. Yes. <laughs> okay, once we get to the hotel, we'll save and quit. Bjorn. Bjorn Hotel. Bjorn of the Bjorn. Bjorn. That's, that's what it should be called, Bjorn. Oh my god, look how far we gotta go to the Bjorn Hotel. <laughs> no, we have to go across the island. One last run. One last hop and scop, so we're done it. Skip. I bought a, a pan of Kringles. <laughs> the guy had to have like a stroke while he was saying <laughs> I talking. bought a I bought a pan of Kingles. Kingles. He just quit talking afterwards. <laughs> he realized what he just said. We've stopped exploring the map. We really are just mindlessly running from point A to point B now. Run, run, run. Get better stuff. Run, run, run. Make these people to run even more. Bite, bite, bite. Do the turtle. Bite, bite, bite. Eat food to bite, bite, bite. <laughs> Make little kids to bite even more. <laughs> bite, bite, bite. He's got like the uh, alien uh, thermal HUD too. Ooh, world tour. Or world tour. You earn two soap. <laughs> that should be the resource. I mean, honestly, in an apocalypse situation, that totally would be a resource. Why? Soap's actually pivotal because it washes germs off. That's one of the major limiting factors in like bacterial outbreaks and stuff. What about hand sanitizer? Yeah, kind of. But you need soap if you're going to take a shower because it washes germs off. It's in. Uh... You can shower with hand sanitizer. Yeah. 
your skin would dry out like parchment, <laughs> just, but yeah. Just just grab the 32 ounce in your <laughs> closet and... I've seen it at dollar stores now, they're just giving away hand sanitizer. They have so much stocked up from COVID. They're finally just giving it away. Like 50 cents something. It's just free. Really? Yeah, people are posting on Reddit that Dollar Trees are just giving away hand sanitizer now. Might boost rep too. Uh, by the way, yeah, I can level up. Saying, but we're not exactly safe. Gotta get awarded with some soap. Living in a grand luxury this looks like the shiny. To cozy up on the floor of a wine cellar. Yeah, this looks like where the Alpine DLC was. Advertised. You know, from the trailer. Oh, the bear and everything. oh look, his name's Bjorn. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the bear's name is Bjorn. Bjorn! Oh, they're inside the hotel. This looks cool, except for the, like, Sim-style copy and paste bushes. Oh god, don't go back here. This is not good. But I'm just Skyrim force my way around now. Wow, they're dying quick. Yes, they are. But at least it's a new locale, which looks cool. Hey, Quinn! Start packing your stuff up. We're getting ready to go. We're gonna talk to these oh, people. Oh, Anita's in a wheelchair. Oh, Anita. You made it. <laughs> so much oh, Jesus, Tucker. So Get canceled. I'm an and as you can see, this guy's an alcoholic. Yet. I'm Benny. Do I look familiar? It's all right. You're all alcoholics. Be... You we'll have an AA on your Barbaro's thing. Why is his belly time, out? Mr. Used to be rock star. <laughs> they even took the time to do the details of his belly hair. Oh, <laughs> okay, we gotta quit. <sighs> Duck, are you saving quit? See you later, guys. I love you all. Love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.